Bob from BBD Fast and Furious. The breaking news for today is the Supreme Court has uh, put a hold on the three farm laws and decided to form a committee. Uh, I'm not sure how this will, this how long this uh, this uh, hold will be for. My uh, plea to the Supreme Court would be that this this should be at least held in abeyance for a year till at least the Punjab elections are over. And I say this with a with a thought process that I think this that this 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 law was being rushed rushed through through an ordinance essentially had was tied in with the Punjab elections and the funding of the Punjab elections. However, uh, having said that, what do we have here? Uh, these are the kinds of things that you see. Uh, you find that uh, are causing a problem of belief, farm stuff, fanned by vested interests, say government. Well, I, I'm quite sure the government told the court that the three legislations are a result of two decades of deliberation. Well, I showed you, right, that there was an attempt to get FDI in by the Congress party. Obviously, the deliberations have been on since then. But the point is, those laws were significantly had diff had a different angle to it. Right? They were they were not uh, uh, in the form as they are today. So these laws needed some discussions and you know in Parliament. And I think that's where we lost the plot. Right? The Supreme Court really got upset. Supreme Court slams government over farmer stir wants laws kept on hold. This was a threat yesterday. And it's been, you know, they've acted on it and I'm glad for that. It provides breathing space. But will the farmers go back? I'm not so sure yet, right? It's because I, here we go. Government goes to Supreme Court to stop Republic Day rally. Says it could be a big embarrassment. A big embarrassment for the nation. I don't think so. In fact, I mean, unless there's untoward incidents or violence, I don't think this 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 uh, 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 rally by intractors by Kisans is going to do any harm. Well, actually, it shows that you know it shows India in really good light, right? Democratic light. He says Har Haryana BKU chief reach Delhi borders for ta tractor parade by Jan 24. The other great thing that happened, I mean, just really, really. Uh, spirit soared in this in, uh, in these difficult times is the way India fought back in the Australian test and despite the the, the racial abuse was despite the constant slanging by uh, by the captain Tim Payne behind the wickets and the Steve Smith scrubbing out the uh, 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 what's his name uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the line that had been taken by Rishabh Pant, I think, it was a despicable behavior. But we showed them what we were made of, and I'm glad. And it's happened in Australia that makes it all the more better. It says, and it rightly says, indomitable Indian overcomes insult and injury to snatch epic draw that feels like a victory. It sure does. And if you knew China was constantly at you, you would. And you really did not have to, and you really can't afford to give it any space. Or not actually now worry about their sensitivities. Is where they, here we go. China stops India from heading key UNSC panel. Al Qaeda committee can sanction individuals. So this is the first time that we are heading the Taliban committee. This is the first time the Al Qaeda and Taliban committee will be headed by two separate people. This time Al Qaeda will, a committee will be headed by Norway and the Taliban committee by India. I see an insidious design. I have a feeling that China is up and, and, and China and Russia are absolutely up to no good. They're using Al Qaeda and Taliban in different forms against India and also against the American soldiers. There are actually reports now that China has now instead paid off the Taliban to kill the U.S. soldiers and not Russia. And as I said yesterday, Shivraj Chauhan said, love jihad is a law passing is a new beginning. And what do I read here? Vim, woman gang raped in Madhya Pradesh for help. Well, I'm glad this is the kind of new beginning the love jihad law has. This is what puts India in really, really a shameful category that big states and chief ministers like Madhya Pradesh are only focused on insignificant things like the love jihad. Cheers, folks.